Okay, uh, as a finish to the box opening, uh, you may have been out of the shot, so I don't know if you got to see everything. What I want to show you is the VM changer here with, with, with some minimal damage. We have a bent spindle and the uh, overarm is a little bent. Uh, a little paint come off the arm, but not too bad from the tape. It has the mono stereo switch feature, which I like up here. Um, it's branded voice of music, which most are not. It's missing a few pieces here. It's missing a little rubber bumper for the size selector. The spindle may have gotten damaged in the ship, or it was like that previous. We don't know. The overarm is bent. He did secure the shipping transit screws, and uh, it looks like it has right channel, left channel, and an accessory outlet. But um, what you do is you give Gary Stork at uh, thevoiceofmusic.com, thevoiceofmusic.com uh, a line, and uh, he's bought the remaining inventory of the Voice of Music VM Corp. And uh, you perhaps, uh, most likely, I can get a replacement pad. It'll be new and brilliant white. The rubber bumper, an overarm if I need it, but most importantly, a new spindle. And uh, this will be off and running. So that's that. The Zenith tuner is just to coincide with a console. This was a pull from a console. It weighs a ton. And uh, either the tubes popped out or uh, I think they wrapped they wrapped them individually here. But I want to go ahead and add this to the, uh, the console. So it will be a complete AM-FM turntable combination. It's roughly a VM changer and a stereo FM Zenith tuner from about the same era. I would put that changer, although it is dated as about 1960, 61 or so. And the Zenith, um, maybe a slightly, well, about the same time period.